either. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> Ugh, blueberry wine? <laughs> you know why? Because we're all old. <laughs> yeah, I'm older. Got too many relatives out here. I told Stephen, I said, Stephen, all we do is pull the and, and put some concrete and put it back. All right, but do you need a permit or I don't think so. or anything like that? I don't think so. Mandio has that. Uh, not Mandio. Well, it was it was built or dug or whatever or, uh, to be privately owned, and I think the town or somebody's to, it, it's past ownership. It's not the cemetery. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can a cemetery be owned by? Because any, is it owned oh, by the shoot. is it owned by the town or no? I can go out. All right, let's take an, a hundred acres of land that we've got down there. On the old place, and I could set up a cemetery and and sell lots out of it. I, don't I know. never thought about it, but that does make sense. Now this was contributed. This came from the Cudworth family, which is the church, all up there on the highway. That's all Cudworth land. It came all the way back. These houses back here, about five years before Mother died, she got money from sale of some of those lots back there. How much did she charge? Do you remember was that her a lot? name was on the deed as a cutlass. That was you her. said she sold the, the piece they of sold it. it. The land was sold and she got some money from it. Oh, she got the money. Uh -huh. I thought you were she saying she sold it. No, well, she agreed. They all the family members had to agree to sell it back here. It had never been divvied up, and uh, that, uh, all of this was cut with one. I can't figure out how did the Cudlers get this much land. Now, they came from New York. They're Northerners, and they came here. It, there had to be a land grant, but nobody can tell me to this one. Um, I can't find out. But that church, the Cudlers gave the land for that. And it must have been, but I've... If you find anything that came from New York, you can't seem to get, but how, that I have a feeling one of them was sent down here to supervise land for the English government as the land became settled. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the way I, I mean, I know enough history that I, I told Stephen, I said, you almost figure it out because remember in school learning about the lord proprietors england would send these men over the government claimed the land then they would send these men over to supervise the colonists as they settled and then later the government would give land da 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 and okay i have a feeling the cutlass got a land grant they uh, get this much land yeah Look at it. It's a lot of land. All of this. It keeps on over here. It starts up there by the church. The church was cut with land. Now, I don't know how far it went down this way. I, I have... I know the, the parsonage is, was cut with land. So, I don't know how far... But on this side... It's interesting. Um, 
we, and I don't have far back it goes back there. Now those homes I don't think were ever on government land. And I like I said don't know how far it came down this way. Yeah. There's a lot of new Same. construction. Oh, oh wow, look at this. I know he cut down all those trees. <laughs> all those trees are gone. Mm -hmm. I've always enjoyed this house. Well, a grandmother had all of this land. She had a daughter, Angela, granddaughter, my age. And uh, Angela built that house, the daughter that was my age, but I think it's passed on or so. I don't know who you do. Now, you do know that I was born in this house. I do know that. Okay. It's an old house. Yeah, I'd love to go in that house. <laughs> well, you know, she didn't have a picture of it in its original state, and I did. And I went there one day to take it to her, because she's the daughter of one of my childhood friends. And the family now has it. And they're related to the Daniels. You see, the cemetery to my grandparents is back there. But anyway... I took her, uh, I had a, pic, a copy made of the original, and she wasn't home, and I was going, uh, this is bad part. Oh, look at the driveway, it's completely covered in mud. Right. Well, when it rains, the front yard's covered in water. It was out there that I got down I, I stop every once in a while in the back and look around. Does anybody live in it? Mm-mm, -mm, looks. Now. It looks deserted. Uh -huh, it is. Um, the man and woman that bought it, not too long, the they house. had, he had a government job, he worked on checking something out in the ocean, and he got transferred and they decided to keep it in case when he retires they want to come back here. Yeah. The same curtains are still hanging at those windows. I, I just noticed that. Those lacy, mm -hmm. yeah, I noticed that. Now wow. the backyard's been fenced in, chain link fence. It's been air conditioned, but the front looks so much like it did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once he goes through through periods where I think it looks nice, mm -hmm. and then it doesn't look nice, and I think right now it looks okay. Everything yeah. looks a little more well, kept and trimmed up. And, and of course, my problem, and Bill and I both were having it, as we talked about last time he went through, we don't know who owns any of the houses anymore. And the older homes, you know, have passed on to so-and-so, so-and-so. I This was always the Gallup house. His brother was Dad's right-hand man on the fairies. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's there now. This of course. I love this house. That that's a that's a sharp looking house. And see that was all horse. Yeah. You know? But the, the people died and now the whoever has broken it all up. To... Now I can't I can't identify any I like seeing the horses. I do too. And you know, now I was growing up, there were no horses I had to run to. This, this, that one, They're everywhere, because there's no zone in here. I'd love to have a horse. Remember I took light riding lessons? Uh -huh. Oh, yes. I took you down to Diane Prince's Oh my gosh, it was so hot that summer, and it smelled so bad. And you know, Diane, at little, she had a horse. Daddy bought her a horse, and it didn't last long because she didn't want to take care of it. Some people they just let me say they live in them, but they don't keep them up. Not everybody is 
the house proud. You know, that's one of the things I've learned over the years. Not everybody puts the same importance on, you know, like what you and I would. You know what we should have done? We had a sign out here. Yeah, I thought I thought there was a sign. And it's been going for, and I keep forgetting to go to the hardware store, you know, and just buy a sign yeah. and put a phone number on. Mother, she, you know, she called all his brothers and sisters, said, would it be okay? And they said, yes. So he's in the Cudwa Cemetery. So you got two cemeteries in your family background. Okay, there's, you've seen them. Yep. If somebody's going back there, I started down that trail of the dinner. I better do this one. And you know, I always liked that Dice house. I did too. Even as a kid, I remember thinking that was a sharp it house. Was a sharp, and they, yeah. they ruined it. Yeah. Now, be careful, honey. When it rained. Whoa. Okay, okay he's having it. Okay, you he's go having a, He's having it graded. What happens, Ty? Yeah. Comes in. And I, Paige and I, uh, we don't have any obligation to him for this road. We, we gave him permission to be on our land for the road. Yeah. But when there's a problem, Timmy has to grade it. And Is it in writing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we agreed to let him have it. Not, not own it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Fair use. And another thing, Paige was very quick, and I have to give him... Um, we gave the electric company... See, they had to have right away to put power lines he we did it up here not over there because we felt like the road would probably stay right here and uh, we didn't want electric lines running from the highway back over there then you've got to give right away if you sell a lot you've got to watch the electric lines well, that, was, that was smart so pay pay suggested and, and uh, Mother and I both agree. Now they do come in, but they don't. They're, they're supposed to come in where the right of way won't affect the sea. Yeah. Bringing in this way, rather than across from over there, from the highway. Okay. <laughs> I know Timmy's tired of seeing me ride down here. Of course, his wife has it. I don't think they have enough American flags out. <laughs> no, no, not in the van. Mm. No, there's your prime marshland, huh? Well, <laughs> I wish uh, somebody would come buy it. <laughs> somebody please come buy this land so we can be done with this. Yeah. And see, we're hampered. Yeah. We waited too long. We just waited too long. Because you can't mess with Marshall or anything. And the hammocks, now if we wait, maybe you and Stephen and Gary, Scott, um, if the hammocks would come together, we'd have enough up ones. Yeah. But we don't. Now this is probably a good size hammock. But the one we just, there we passed all that. The canal, we can't widen the canal. And of course it's. It's interesting when you look at the satellite picture of this, you can, there's a delineation. Mm -hmm. You can clearly see the hammocks that you can build Well, on. and in time, the hammocks may run, you know, feel, I mean, the marshland may fill in up here. Because wherever you got trees, you've got that working. Yeah. But it's going to take a while. And with, I mean, with ocean levels rising, you've got two competing elements of mother nature you know, what, you know what's going to happen if we do if it, we do so somebody's going to have enough money they're going to do what they want oh yeah oh, they'll yeah. just skid by the laws and, um, we got and, a little then, bit. and don't we'll, forget we got a little bit over there yeah oh. now i don't like their house now well the trees are all 
I don't like yeah. the. White. I don't like the white. I, I, I like the natural brick that they have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. And we should never have sold this. No. That was probably the biggest that mistake. Hurt. Yeah. That, we didn't. I don't know. But, like Bruce always says, he made the best decision you could at the time with the information well, that you had. So. Stephen, of course, those three boys, he needed money. Yeah. Um, I, I really didn't. I could have kept them. I mean, it was nice. Well, I don't know. It's in the bag. <laughs> you, Mark, will, you and Stevie will get it eventually. Whew. I've got to sit down and get my... I'm, and I'm not trying to mislead you because I don't have a lot, but i got to make it easier for y'all to get it. That's rather than just a wheel. Um, I think I'm going to the bank. Um, I need to get my wheel out of the safe deposit box because I understand the bank makes it hard when you die, after you die. So I'm just going to take it out. Maybe give it to you or Stephen. Can you something. close out the safe deposit oh, box yeah. and just not uh, have it anymore? I don't have to pay for it anyway because I've got three uh, three accounts with them. So I don't even have to pay rent. On the safe. But there's no need of keeping it, Mark. It's silly. If, if I should die, you're going to have to go through an act of Congress to get to that. And the other day, I thought, I'm going to go get it. And then, I need, and I may call Bob Stroop. I've not had any. Uh, I called him income tax time about something that Ken needed. But I may call him and get some advice as, can I put yours and Stephen's name? with what investments I have. Probably. And they're not much. But if you've got to pay... No, this isn't Benny's, honey. Where's O'Neill's? <laughs> we gotta go back up the road. Oh, I thought it was over here. Mm -hmm. That's fun, though. They have a nice little restaurant here. Um, now go back up to um, Shell Shop. Where the Shell Shop is. Go where it, it's in that neighborhood. It's the next <laughs> canal down. But this place, Bill and I came not too far ago, right before Christmas down here. And you eat in the back and look at it, you know. People like to look at it in the water. Oh yeah. Are hard hats hard to wear? I have no idea. Are they hot? Oh, we're not stopping? I thought he was stopping us. Well, maybe he was... Okay. Maybe he was just telling us to be careful. Oh, he was trying to block the sun. Oh, okay. He wasn't giving us direction. Okay. <laughs> now I really don't know if it goes anywhere. And we can't be here this side. Steve and I have been trying to figure out what they're doing with that building. further up than what you would think it would be on the water. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, a lot of times I pass it going that way without thinking. I just feel like I need to be down to where the... Where the marina is. is yeah, right. Marina. Yeah.
wish I did. I lose my patience with the cage. The stringer. Maybe on a Tuesday it won't be as busy. <laughs> okay. See right there? Can I see the blue it? roof? Yeah. Where do you park? Over here or in front of them if there's room. Or. I see a space. Okay. Um, you may. I see a lot of spaces. <laughs> So this, this is your first time. I've never been here. Well, they, the boats come right up and back. And... And I understand he wanted to be closer home. He came from lower North Carolina and he's only been here for three years? Yeah. I thought they had to stay for like a long time or uh, They used to stay around four. Mm -hmm. but, and he must have requested the transfer. But he's been good. He's worked. But he has left his He gets out, he goes on the beach a lot early mornings. Mm -hmm. And he puts it on his phone. And he takes, they have a little boy. And when he was taking him to nursery school over on the beach, he'd take him over. And all along, he was taking pictures of the bridge, the sunrise. Uh, we got some good ones. They turn your phone on, and there's all these beautiful pictures. Yeah, he's been good. He's thrown himself into the church. But I understand the one that's coming. He's coming up from near Camden, right? It was Pacific. And he's got two churches. They say twice on Sunday he preaches two sermons. TT, mm. hey, nice water. Very welcome. And any questions? Ooh, about Not the menu so far? No. All right. And what do y'all have? It? I'm going to have the soft shell crabs. Yes, ma'am, two or three. Two. And the potato mm -hmm. and uh, the pickle beets. Pickle beets and the baked potato. Uh huh. Perfect. And how would you like your how would you like your soft crabs cooked? Fried, grilled, oh, blackened. Oh, fried. There's I options see. now. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I didn't know I had an option. I just thought. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you for you, sir. Um, I'd like to start with some hush puppies. Of course, you want to do a dozen. Yeah, you, or can half do, dozen. you can take. Let's do a half dozen. Perfect. If you want more, we can yeah. always okay. add that. Because you want to add bread. Of course. And then, uh, excuse me, can I get the uh, fried shrimp dinner? Of course. And your two sides? Um, green beans and coleslaw. Green beans, coleslaw. Perfect. And fried, you said. Mm -hmm. And I have never realized how pretty your eyes are. They're such a pretty blue. My great grandfather, or no, excuse me, my grandfather, um, he used to have the prettiest crystal blue like you would look at them and they would look like the sky and I, I don't know if I've ever really stood here and oh, really? really looked well but thank you so much they came from my father I'm from the Tillett family uh -huh. did you know Amy I did we were first cousins I, I see I can see that now yep I love Mr. Tillett he was a very sweet very man sweet. I enjoyed enjoyed waiting on him his younger brother yeah we all have the blue eyes it's amazing Something I always wanted, but now I've learned to love my my uh, doe eyes, as they call my big brown doe eyes. Nothing oh, wrong with brown eyes. No, they nice eyes. Yes, yeah. yes, all of it is. And just right. be glad they work. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. And I'll be back with more MCT. Ready for some more day Oh, that is sweet. Okay. Well, I feel like she's waited on us before. Really, really good. Like, cool. yeah, she's good at what she does. You can tell. Well, and she feels at ease and pleasant. Mm -hmm. You know, Duvet told me her favorite job at, of all time was waiting tables. And it was my least I, I, I hated it. I understood your... Oh, to me, it was... I don't know. I felt like I was degraded. I don't know. And it's, I mean, the people, wasn't the people were that? I just didn't like the idea of waiting on somebody. Yeah. I really didn't. It wasn't the, the people. I didn't. 
I don't know, I just didn't like it. And I didn't really have that many unpleasant experiences. No, I've had uh, different ones say they, they really like, you know, different friends. I don't think Edna Bruce did, but she had to do it. She, her money went to pay for her college expenses. Yeah. That's so hard. She did it for a long time. I didn't do it that long. And I didn't like it when I worked at the first colony in and we served family style. So I only served breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. And then I was free and lived right there on the beach, right at the hotel. So it's just a matter of once breakfast was over and I got the tables cleaned up, I went out on the beach. Yeah. Same thing after. But I didn't like the waiting. It, the actually serving the food and take and the, at the hotel, it was great because they served family style. They, I'd bring in big trays, fried cheese. They always had one meat, one seafood for lunch and dinner. They had no choice. So there was no taking orders. There was no, it was just. You get what you get. Yeah, but just put it down. Get in the water, get in the water. You know, when I worked at the Spring Garden Bar and Grill, I was in the kitchen. I liked that better than I did when I was waiting tables. I hated waiting tables. I hated dealing with the public. I don't handle that well. I'm not sure. I'd like, I didn't care about the kitchen work. Kitchen didn't bother me. I mean, it was hard work. It was brutal. It was dirty and brutal and hot and gross and, and stressful. But I just don't think I like being around the food. Oh. Of it I was so talking to, when I was talking to Bobby last week, we were talking about our work histories. And I said, uh, all these years later, my favorite job is still when I worked in radio. <laughs> Even though it was vicious and cutthroat and hours are horrible and money sucked, I just liked that. You, you like the work itself. I just like the work. I like yeah. pressing the buttons and talking on the radio. And... Well, Martha. Well, we all have our preference. Mm -hmm. But I did not like. Mm. I really didn't have that many jobs. I mean, well, my career job. But. I like the sun. I worked one summer at the museum at Fort Rowling. Now, that was fun. How did you get these jobs? You just walked in and applied or you knew somebody? Um, Miss Myla Meekins, who had taught me first, second, and third grade, was in charge of the museum in the summer of Fort Rowan. And I don't know if she asked me or I asked or Daddy asked, I don't know. But I was, I think 16, no, I wasn't 16, it must have been 15. It was the next year I could serve tape. And uh, that was fun, because they sold, you know, souvenirs and magazines and things for, for the museum, and I did that. Plus I gave a lot of information to people needed it. Which I love that part because I got into the history. Part. Yeah. And um, now she needed an assistant that summer. And I don't know why she asked. I don't remember how I got her. No, she asked me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I had thought about applying for a job. But I really did enjoy it. Mother had to take me to Fort Rollins. I couldn't drive. I did the museum. And then the next summer, 
I, of course, I wasn't driving, so I, that's when I worked at the uh, first colony and waitressing. That was when, that, that was family style. Mm -hmm. That was the family style restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yep, they got one seafood and one... Fried chicken. Well, meat of some kind. No, or they got pork chops. Yeah. Yeah. That's, got, not, that's not around anymore, is it? The first colony did Yeah. Mm -hmm. It used to be Oceanside. That's the one they moved. And they moved it yeah. to the, between the with highways. The and you don't see it because of the pines. That's where they do a lot of the Pride Festival stuff. Oh, it is? Yeah, they do it there, which I think is I really don't know who owns it now. Uh, a man and woman... Actually, they were from Rodan. They owned it. It was old. They built it. And... Yeah. And it was fun. It was fun living there. I mean, I had a roommate. We shared a bedroom. June Tucker. So I'm confused. Why did you live there when you could have just stayed with me, Mom? Because I served three meals a day, early breakfast, lunch, so was that, and was that dinner. Your choice or they made you no, that? I had to live there. Ah, because we were on we were on call breakfast. That's hard. And we had we had to get the dining room ready. And then then breakfast went until whatever. It's like a twelve hour day. And no. Breakfast then I was off. And all I did was put my bathing suit on, go down to the beach, and lie on the blanket, and do whatever. Then I went in, got dressed, and served lunch. Hmm. And did then after lunch, uniform, like a starch, was it one of those white? It was a uniform. Yeah, mother washed them, brought them to me, but I lived right there because of the hours. Yeah. And I couldn't drive. How old were you? I think I was 15. June, I believe June was too. But a lot of girls worked at that age. Um, it must have been really popular. It must have been like a really popular restaurant if they went through all of that to get people to wait tables. Thank goodness. Like Stephen, it, it was a hotel. I understand it was yeah, I'm, I'm guessing at the time that was a lot of money. Start the first day. I know. One time I think I got a hundred. The, you know, the people stayed. Yeah. Yeah, you, you waited on the same family day after day after day. Yeah. Three meals a day. Kind of like, kind of like housekeeping on these cruise ships. The one person handles the it, same family. So there you go. They called it family style dining. The, you did, the people didn't have a choice. Yeah. It was planned, put on the table, they ate it, they didn't mind it. It was interesting. But there were several hotels that did that. Mm -hmm. No, of course not. I hate it, I hate it ever again. Then I worked at a cafe in Mandia. I hated that. I didn't last long, but no. Did you quit? Yep. <laughs> I sure did. I really liked the one at the museum. That was my favorite. I enjoyed, you know, the information. I really didn't mind selling books and whatever, souvenirs. And it wasn't busy. Okay, where's the summer guy? And I hate that condo thing. Yes. That's a disaster. You know, if this was just...
this was just a few hundred dollars, I wouldn't bet on any of this because who cares? It all comes yeah, out of the wash. That's about, what like, you've got to get across to them, it is. Between the, the disaster, he's leaving me of almost 2000 The, the 18000 that's going to go to Chip, I'm right, at 20000 Then the capital gains down. I mean, I'm talking like sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. dollars Mark, I just can't believe that all of that could develop into this. Absolutely. I, I, I think he needs some... I've looked into it. I have. I know, but who's been? Tim's an accountant. He's, he's, he's talked to me about this stuff. I have no recourse. Oh my gosh, that's good. Mm. I'm sick to my stomach the first few days. I guess so. I know how I feel. I just don't understand why that's not. I don't know. The, the financial guy that we were speaking to he was like, look, you should be happy that you built something that you can get capital gains tax on. And I said, okay, well, you know what, then, uh, I see what you're saying. Like, why am I being punished for building something? That's what it feels like. I just don't understand it. And Daddy picked the bones out. <laughs> but I remember know? one night we were having dinner at Zeta's and she had flounder or something and all those bones. I was yeah. just horrified. Yeah, we just grew up. I mean, they brought it all up. I just... And if I really take the fish itself and think about the taste, the taste is not that bad. I don't know what it is about fish, I don't care about it. But when it comes to the shell fish, then I'm different. <laughs> Shrimp's my favorite. 